G'day, hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to draw two awesome Pokemon characters. That's right, Blastoise and Mega Blastoise. And I'm going to show you how to draw those two characters in easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Are you ready? Let's start. I'm going to draw Blastoise with a mechanical pencil, starting with his jawline coming across. And then bring that around like so. Then he's got his nose, which is a little bump like so. And he's got his eye, which is about halfway through here, which is his eye there. And then he's got another little eye that's on the apex of that little curve there that comes down like so. And like that. We can put some more of the details on when we outline it. And then his eye, the top of his eyebrow, like a V. That's the top of his head. And he has his other ear come one ear coming off here, like so. Then he has his other ear off the back there. This comes follows around. It's a bit of a kink in the in there. And this is like a little his jaw, bottom jaw, coming around, which it's about there. And he's got this jawline that comes around. This is his mouth that's open. This is the part that comes up. And then he's got this sort of like part of his arm shield. And that's his open mouth there. So he's got his mouth open. This shield bit comes down, which is around his arm. I'll pretend that that comes around like that. And he's got his arm one part of his arm another part of his arm and then this is like an oval shape as well so he's got these three parts to his arm there then he's got like a rounded triangle claw another sort of rounded triangle claw coming that way and then another one sort of poking off that that way so there's one arm let's put his other eye in now needs an eye blast ice that's going to come across a bit and then that curves that way and then he's got his eyeball you don't see much of that eyeball you see more of this because he's sort of looking out to the right don't forget his ear make that a little bit bigger so that we can put the inside of his ear in just coloring just shading that in a little bit to give it a bit of detail that's a little white bit and then this is the black pupil in there you can see he's starting to take shape Okay, now I'm going to draw the, because that arm came up there, I'm going to bring this one down this side, and then this is sort of roughly, notice how I'm drawing that to help, it's like a big oval shape there, a lot of things are just simplify them down into shapes and it can make your drawing much easier, and that is about the same distance down as that one, so I'm just going to bring that up a little bit to match it, now he's got his other um, coming around like so another that would be another oval shape or almost a circle and then another one there so these are like three sections just like that and this one's slightly down a little bit further so we've got a little bit of a tri rounded triangle there this one's inside and then this one was oh, coming out this way so he's got a lot of angles and shapes there. Now we're going to put his back bit on, which starts from the ear. Pretend that he hasn't got his gun, so we can draw this part easier. Then he's got his cannon coming off the side here. And this is like a cylinder shape. And then it's rounded along the bottom, and then this one is curved that way because it's on the left-hand side of the center of him that's why we're curving him that way and then on the other side if we do the other side we can draw the same sort of shape for this part except for this time it comes you see a little bit of the top so that's the top cannon comes out the same so it's a shape like so but this one actually starts out there so see how that's curving that way this time Try and keep him the same length as that. So I think I've matched that up pretty well. 
drawing a cylinder with another oval shape inside there we can tidy that up a little bit later on when we do our um, outlining looking pretty good you see the bottom of this part of his shell and he's got a bit of bit of shell there okay so this is like the rim on his shell here that I'm drawing at the moment the light part of his shell and then this is the darker bigger bit of his shell that tucks in behind there so that sort of lines up but it has a few different parts to it all right let's draw his foot or his knee he's got like a knee pad or a knee cap it is a shape sort of like so then his leg comes down forms some more triangular sort of rounded triangular toes or claws whatever you want to call them and then that sort of comes up as a curve like that then don't forget he's got his tail that comes out a lot of curves and sort of point pointy bits on this character Blastoise now his belly starts from about here and it comes down and around and hook joins into his leg there and then he's got all these other sort of lines coming across and they are curving up okay they're curving up because they're below his eye level so they're curving up and then he's got a little top part of his shell that comes in there like that i am now putting on the extra details of his leg this is the side of his shell so like he's got this part this lighter patch through here and here now he's got his other leg is sort of lining up at the top of there so comparing that bringing the kneecap out comes across and then up like that so he's got this sort of kneecap looking thing then he's got his see how that leg curves that way this one curves the other way like so and then it's across and he's got his back toe or claw and he's got a front claw try and keep these and these ones pretty similar this one's a bit smaller and then he's got a bigger one that pokes out through there and then he's got a little bit that comes up like that and here we have Blastoise ready for some pen work this is where we can really refine all the details so I'm going to speed up the video as I outline There we have Blastoise looking awesome with a thicker outline and all his colour. 
Now it's time to draw Mega Blastoise. And I'm gonna start with his mouth. So a shape like so, and coming back. So we're starting with his top mouth and his nose there, and then we're gonna pop, pop on the nostrils. So three sort of lines, one like so, another one, and then the cross one. Now his eye and his eyebrow comes up and across. Then it comes across like so. And now this will be his other eye coming in here, coming up. And then this will be his eyebrow coming around the third one. So there, and then it continues on and then into his ear. So like a rounded triangle shape. And then we've got, we're gonna carry this line here all the way straight out to there. So bring this one in. And then we've got one circle, almost another circle for his eye. And then you only see that part of his red eye. And he's got a triangle here. Now you can draw in pencil if you like, or straight up with pen like I am. Now he's got his shell coming over there. He's got his neck. Now this is his jaw coming down, around, and then this comes back and then joins up into there. And then we've got like a circle, half a circle, and another half a circle. Now we've got his gun, comes out, his big blaster that he can use. And this is the, his belly comes down here. It's almost like a one big circle, uh, oval shape, sorry. You could probably do that if you wanted to, to help you. Got a shape coming down, a curve, another curve, and then we've got to bring this back over like so. Now we curve one, two curves like that. Now we've got his hand or his claws. So we've got a, almost a circle. And then we've got this shape that looks like a teardrop. And then he's got another claw. And then he's got this other white claw through there. Now the rest of the gun comes from here, comes around. And we're trying to keep this part the same Bring that over. Now let's put the little blaster cannon bit on. With an oval shape on the end that's black. And I'm just gonna put a, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a line there even though there's not one there, just to show you that that looks like the cannon. Then this is another part of, part of him. He's starting to look pretty cool. Blastoise. All right, his hand. We've got one hand there. We're going to put the other hand here. So pretty similar sort of way we're drawing it, where we've got almost a circle. This come. This claw comes out through there this time, and then this one sits on like that, and then this one sits on top. Now we've got his cannon here, so the same sort of there, but this one's looking more directly at the viewer. So we're gonna bring this around like that. And this is more of a circular shape this time. And color this in. And he's got a little back part of the gun and then he's got this little bit here. And he's got these gray bits that go around his weaponary. Another line there. It's looking pretty cool. I'll just move him over. Curve. About halfway through here we've got this other angle. And now we've got to bring this up. And it joins the bottom of the hand there. So he's got one arm, other arm with a blaster cannon. Now from the from midway through his ear, it comes down and across. This is like must be the edge of his shell. 
bring it up to a point, bring it back, bring it back up. Now he's got the super cannon on top, which is going up slightly. So I'm going to draw a curve there and then a line coming up. Now this gets wider as it comes up, so we're going to bring that out. And then we're going to curve it around like so. Then we're going to put a circle. And this is all um, a highlight that we can put in there. I'm going to use a thicker pen for that. So this comes up into here like this, the shell. Then he has a bit that comes off. Then he's got his brown shell that comes down. And then he's got this other part of his shell that comes around. So this is the gray bit that sort of wraps up and around and it gets bigger as it goes up there. So pop that there. This is a line that comes around like that. And then there's another line here. Now this is like where the cannon joins onto his body, but we've got another cylinder sort of shape there. And then on the top comes across and then down like so. comes across and then down like so that's all black in there but I'll do that later and then this is a curve shape coming up like that so it sits on the back of his shell this massive cannon and it's going to be shooting out try to make that on the same angle as that it's a little bit skew if but it's not too bad all right let's put his leg on from here, we're going to come down. He's got big legs. So it goes up, across, and down and around. And then he's got his toe, like a rock almost. And then this comes out, and then he's got this other toe out coming out that side. And then another one out there. He's got to have some big foundation to shh not fall over when he shoots this cannon. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Other leg comes out, comes up, over, down. Now he's got a big thigh that comes back into there. Toenail. Another toe. Comes up. This one comes out the back and he's got his other little toe there. Don't forget his little tail. Shape comes out like that. Now we've got to draw around his, his little line. So one's, one's there. Another one here to curve up, like so. Double line like that. And one from the gun to the middle of his leg. One, two. And then we've got a one around one two down through there. I'm going to colour in using Copic markers and pencil, so I'm going to speed this up.
Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you had a good time drawing the two Pokemon characters. I had an awesome time drawing Blastoise and Mega Blastoise. See you next time. Cheers. Bye.